Mudblood, the nasty name some wizards use for other wizards who were born to non-magical parents. And speaking of mud, October arrived damply at Hogwarts, spreading a soggy chill over the grounds and into the castle. A different kind of chill would soon set in as well. It's time for potions class with Professor Snape. We don't want to be late. You know what he's like. It's down in the dungeons. Follow me. This leads to the dungeons. Now pay attention. Today, you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted. The Wigan Weld Potion. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. A Wigan Weld Potion will restore some of your lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wiganweld Potion, Flubberworm Mucus and Wigan Tree Bark. Take them out. Now, walk up to the cauldron. Try not to observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the cauldron and mixing them. Careful, Potter. You don't want to lose house points. Mr. Potter now has a Wiganweld potion. To drink the potion, press spacebar. Back to your seat, Potter. Those of you who are adventurous, or more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wiganweld potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wiganweld potions can be made. And the ingredients, flobberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture, the history of flobberworm mucus extraction.